Focus House Things, Gary Flannery here with your home workout one. Thanks so much for coming on board. What I would say at this stage is stop telling people that this program is going on because there's still people coming through to me. And the more people get it at this stage, the more you might dilute your service. So um, let's get them on board next time. Um, thanks very much for all the involvement so far. Um, I'm still catching up with somebody and we get there, I get there uh, between today and tomorrow. So uh, this is home workout one. What I will say before we crack on is if you've got any injuries or niggles, guys, uh, pull it at that, uh, see a um, uh, health professional and get on top of, of that end of things. What I will also say is on social media and um, don't be asking for advice in terms of I have this injury, I have that injury, can you give me some advice? I'm a sports scientist, I'm not a physiotherapist, so I'm not going to start to try advice in terms of injuries. It's, it's not my area. I have a little bit of knowledge in the area, but it's not my actual practice. So, um, and whatever about me, if you throw it up on Facebook, some people will come back to you, but that's relevant to their body. So it may not be relevant to yours. So just be very mindful of that. And I will um, explain a little bit more about that on social media and through the emails. If you're not on social media guys all this stuff is still completely relevant you will be getting my emails so uh for today's session let's try to get cracking on as soon as we can it's broken down into two parts the first part is lower body uh, second part is upper body and core first part is five exercises second part is four exercises and how we're going to roll through this is um beginners will be 15 seconds work Intermediates will have another 10 seconds on top of that, 25 seconds work, and advanced will have another 5 seconds on top of that, um, so that would be 30 seconds. So I'm not going to tell you who's who, you know yourselves if you're absolutely new to fitness or any of this, you're obviously a beginner. If you're, if you're attending weekly classes and you're out running, you're out exercising 4 days a week, you know you're advanced. And uh, if you're not quite sure, the chances are you're intermediate. So I'm going to go through the five exercises before I go all the way through the circuit um, so that you'll have a feel for them and we'll try to get a nice flow going once I have went through them. So first exercise, reverse lunge for the quads and glutes a little. Uh, front foot is always stationary, opposite foot steps back, pretty close to the floor and return back up into position. Step back, step forward, step back, step forward. If you can't go through that full range, you limit your range, step back, down a little and return. Down a little and return. If you're having no difficulties, stepping all the way back, travel with an inch off the floor and returning up. Obviously we're working this exercise both sides. Um, I've got a few extra bits and pieces, uh, chair, mat, kettlebell, mini band, if you have them, well and good. If you don't, doesn't matter. We work body weight. Um, second exercise is your hip thrust. We're going to be working this one from the floor. I've got a mat here. You don't need a mat really for, for your hip thrust. Um, working through the heels. So we've got our toes raised at this uh, point. We're going to be working the glutes. Hands to the side. Drive up good and strong. Control to the floor. Up strong. Control to the floor. Again, beginners will be 15 seconds, intermediates will be another 10, and advanced will continue on for another 5 seconds to make it 30. That's your second exercise, third up is squats. Most of you, I'm sure, will have worked squats at some point. It's hips back and down. Alright, feet slightly turned out, and you want to make sure that all the weight is going through the heels for this exercise. Alright, so I'll work it side on. Hips back and down is your first movement, and you work to a depth that is good for you. I've got a kettlebell here, so if any of you do want to bring in a weight, maybe you have a weight, maybe you've got a kettlebell, um, obviously it's going to be the same. Hips back and down, and up. Hips back and down, and up. Okay, next exercise is calf raises. Working through the balls of the feet. So when we run, we should be working through the ball of the foot or rather the ball of the big toe. 
So rather than allowing the feet to fall out, when we're working our calf raises, it's good practice to push through the big toe, the ball of the big toe. Okay, and final one up, we've got sideline clamps. So you, you can work this one with a mini band if you want it. If you don't have a mini band, it's absolutely fine. Sideline position. Knee stacked, hip stacked, shoulders stacked, and up. So I'm looking to get distance between my knees. And I'm very much targeting my glute on this exercise. As I said, if you have the mini band, I'll start to incorporate it as I'm going through the sessions. You can throw it around the knees, and it's an extra push. Okay, so we're good for our timer. We have uh, five exercises, two of them is uh, both legs obviously, so we've got uh, a round of 21 to begin. All right, ready to go in three, two, one, and we're off. Front foot stationary, reaching back and return. Good. Beginners, you've got eight seconds left. And remember, intermediates and advanced, you will continue. Okay, beginners, you're done. Continue intermediates. Continue advanced. Three, two, one. Intermediates, you're done. Advanced, keep it going. We might get one more rep in and relax. So you see the routine. We've now got a 20 second recovery before the next. Kicking out both legs. Get yourself set. We're going in seven. I'll work this one side on. You want to be keeping the spine to the sky, okay? So don't get yourself to a position where you're starting to lean forward. And we're off. And return. Touch. And return. Touch. Good. Beginners, you've got another four. Three. Two. One. Beginners, you're done. Intermediates, continue. Four. Three. Two. One, advance, continue. You got another three, two, one, and you're done. Okay, we're going to the floor for a hip thrust. I work barefoot because it challenges my balance a little bit. You can probably see that. So, but it's up to you. All right, hip thrusts. We're ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, and up. Good, toes are off the floor. I'm driving the hips nice and high. Where you put your hands on this isn't of particular importance. All right, we're working the glutes. And beginners, you're done. Intermediates, you're continuing. Good. Another four, three, two, one. Intermediates, you're done. Okay, advance, we're still going. And relax, okay. So uh, we are done, that's our round, okay? We've got another two rounds to go. We'll be starting on our reverse lunges. Um, I'll start to bring in some weights and I'll show the adaptions or I'll show the progressions and regressions from here. Three, two, one, and we're off. Good. Looking for control throughout. Remember, spine goes straight to the floor. So we don't tip forward, we're straight down, we're straight back. Beginners, you're done. Good, continue. Intermediates, you're done. And advance, you're done. All right, opposite leg. Gonna be my right leg stationary. We're ready to go in 10 seconds. Shake out the arms. Shake out the legs, grab yourselves that quick drink if you need. And we're ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, and we're off. Good, reach them back. That's it. Go through a range that you're good for. Good, beginners, you've two, one. Intermediates, we're still going, advanced, we're still going. This is good guys, well done. All right, advance, we've got a couple of seconds left. Intermediates, you're done. And relax. All right, kicking out both legs. 
We've got our hip thrust from here, so we're going to the floor. Good work, guys. Well done. All right, we're ready to go in three, two, one, and drive, control, and drive, control, drive, control, drive, control. Well done. Beginners almost there. Good. Beginners, you're done. Intermediate, advanced, we're still going. Four, three, two, one, and advanced, you're still in. I'll get one more fast one. Good, good. All right, squat. Kicking out both legs. Um, I'll bring in my kettlebell from here. Okay, all right, we're ready to go in. Four, three, two, one, and we're off. Good. Beginners, last one. Good, intermediates, advance, we're still going. Intermediates, I reckon two more. Advance. Oh, we can go for two more. Good. Great stuff. And we got our calf raises. All right. I'm going to go back to my kettlebell for my calf raises. Get an extra little bit of weight in there. So we're ready to go in seven. Shake out the arms. Kick out the legs. Three. Two. One. And we're off. Pushing through the big toes. Hope you're all still in there, guys. Well done. I hope half of you haven't stopped and are now drinking tea. Well done. Beginners, you're done. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Advance. Let's get two more in there. Good. Well done. All right. So, we're down to the final part of this first round. We've got our sideline clams. I'm gonna bring in my mini band for this one. I'll throw it on, up to the knees. Three, two, one, and we're off. Good. I like to hold these out at its widest point, just for a second, before I can throw it back in. Asks a little bit extra of the glute, Beginners, you're done. Beginners, you've two rounds down, so that's great going. Well done. You've one more round to go. Intermediate, let's look for one more here. Good. Advanced, let's look for two more. One. Let's hold out that last one. And relax. Okay. That is our two rounds down. We're going to go for one more. And we're going in ten, nine. I'm going to bring in my kettlebell for these rounds. Okay, three, two, one, and stepping back. Good. Well done. Good, in terms of my breath, I inhale, I exhale. Inhale, under prep, exhale, under work. Beginners, you're done. Intermediate, we're continuing. Good. Advance, let's look for two more. One, two, and relax. Okay, we've got our other leg. Take a breather. Grab yourselves a drink if you need to at this stage. I think you're going good. I could be completely wrong. There could be nobody looking at me. All right, we're going in three, two, one, and we're off. Well done. Beginners, can you get one more in? Good. Intermediates, we're still going. Well done. Okay, advance, can we get two more? One, two, and relax. Great work. 
shake out the arms, kick out the legs. That's our round done, okay? That's our lower body workout done. So, we're gonna go through our upper body now. Upper body and core. All right, so um, I'm gonna push my mat out of the way a little here. I don't really need it. Like I did the last time, I'm gonna go through the exercises first. Before we get into it, we're gonna work three rounds. This time we only have four exercises as opposed to uh, five. And uh, yeah, so um, first up is our push-ups. Guys, push-ups is a bit of a, bit of a gripe of mine. Anyone that knows me will know that. Um, it's not a push-up if it's not a push-up, okay? So what I mean by that is it's got to be a correct push-up to get counted. So what I want you to do from there is hand just standing with your elbows tucked to your rib cage like so. Okay, so you should be looking at me facing this direction and push the hands forward. When you pull the hands back in, allow the elbows come close to the sides and push out. So those that are doing push-ups this way, we're putting our shoulder joint or our AC joint in a pretty dodgy place. And after time of working push-ups or benching like this, we're going to have difficulties through the shoulders. So any push-ups I'll work, and I want you to practice these, when I see any of you in six weeks, I want you to be working correct push-ups, whereby the elbows travel close to the rib cage. I'm gonna work one or two of these on the floor first, um, and you'll have an idea of what I mean. I'll work face on, so you should see that I haven't winged out, how we call it. So, correct push-ups. Now, I'm obviously gonna show some adaptations or some regressions of these as well. We don't have to be working them off the toes. We can still work really, really good push-ups um, in other planes, and, I, and I'll show you what I mean also. So, I'll work the progression from the toes first. Feet, pretty close. Hands, shoulder width, shoulder width, down. Now look where my elbows are, and up. Down, look where my elbows are, and up. Okay, so no winging out. I'll work two from side on. Down, and up. Inhale, and exhale. All right, now, um, when I say it, it's my gripe, this is what I see a lot of happening. Where people have creased at the hip, all right? You can still work a regression whereby you've got a straight line from your shoulder to your hip to your knee, if you can see that, or your knee to your hip to your shoulder, straight line. And up. All right, now, if that's too difficult, we still can adapt that a little, and we just work it from the top. What I mean from that is, we start up high, we control to the floor, and then you come back up however you like. All right, so if you need to come back up like that, that's absolutely fine. But then you work the next correct. Um, and what I'll say, just to finish off those points is, we can't peel off the floor. What I mean by peeling off the floor is whereby the chest comes first, then hips, and then knees or um, if you're working it from the toes. So this would be peeling off the floor, and I know some of you will be familiar, you'll have seen this. All right, peeling off the floor. We've got to come up as one. So if you can't come up as one from there, you need to be working them off your knees. If you can't come up from one from your knees, you need to be working the adaptation I showed where you're working from the top down. All right, sorry for putting a bit of uh, talk onto that, but I'm anxious about getting my push-ups correct and protecting the shoulders, all right? And getting stronger, okay? You won't get stronger from those peels. So, uh, next up, we have our plank taps. I like to give myself a target on this one. 
So putting something out in front that I actually have to aim for, like a foam roller, planks from my elbows. And we're working taps from front on. Right, and like in the push up, work your adaption or your regression if you need to. So I can work it from my knees. When I do work it from knees, I've still got a straight line from my knees to my hips to my shoulders, like so. Okay, tuck the glutes there to take a little pressure off the lower back, and don't forget the breathe. All right, um, from there we've got a sideline plank. I'll bring in my mat for this. Sideline plank with rotation. And I'm glad I'm giving an extra few teaching points on this because these are some of our basic movements that we will be repeat, repeating over and over again. And it's great to get them right now. Um, and then we won't have to go over them again in the future. So sideline plank, um, again I'm looking for straight line positions, so there's no peel, no sag, um, and we're going to work this from our feet or our knees. So the one principle that stays the same is my shoulders to my hips to my knees stay in a straight line. Hip is off the floor and I'm bringing a rotation in here. Reach for the sky, thread the needle and reach for the sky. Shred the needle, reach for the sky. So I'm working my obliques, I'm working a few different uh, muscles around my midsection, which um, controls rotation. And as runners, we want good control through rotation. We don't want to be twisting while we run, we want to be running straight forward. Um, if you can work that, you can work it off of your feet. Again, straight body position, shred the needle, and like so. Now, final exercise, we've got our dead bugs. Dead bugs require a little bit of coordination because if you're working your right arm, you're working your left leg and vice versa. So dead bugs, great exercise for coordination, great exercise for core control, midsection. Um, if you've got kids at home, um, you, well, you should be getting them to join you for all these classes. But if you can teach a kid a dead bug, it'll serve them good for life. So this is my neutral position. All right. My shins are parallel to the floor. My knees are directly above my hips and my hands are straight up. From there, now I've got terrible shoulder mobility. You'll notice that. But from there, we go back with one arm and we go forward with the opposite leg. And then I switch. Alright, throughout the movement I've got to keep my lower back pressed against the ground. So I'll work that from side on, just to give you an idea. Okay, so side on, watch my left leg, right arm. And that's my dead bugs. Alright, so from the top. Uh, four exercises, it's the same system, 15, 25 or 30. Same system and we are starting with our push-ups. Okay, so a good little challenge here, if you're doing the correct push-ups, working push-ups for 30 seconds um, is going to challenge, it's going to challenge everyone, if you, anyone, if you're, if you're working correctly. Because we can't get 15 to 20 push-ups in there. Now, all right. Let's do look again guys, stick with it, don't turn it off now and say that you're going to do the rest tomorrow because you won't. Stick at it. Three, two, one, and we're off. Straight body position, control, and up.
Beginners, you're done. Intermediates, let's go for three more. One, two, three. We might get one more. Good. Advance, we're going to go for two more. And relax. Good. All right. Next up, we've got our plank taps. I won't give myself a target. Um, too much moving around to do here. I'll aim for the couch. All right, we're ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. We're off. Good. Tapping out in front. Give yourself that target. If I didn't say it, if you need to be working from the knees, by all means. And we're looking to stop a rock on this. Beginners, you're done. Intermediate. Let's stay going. Advance, let's go for three more taps. One, one, two, two, three, three. Good, great work. All right, we got our sideline plank now uh, with our rotation. We're working the mat again. We're nearly there, folks. All right, we're going in three, two, one, and we're off. Thread the needle and reach. Good. So I've got good control here, I'm not sagging down, I'm not leaving my hips on the floor. If you need to work it from your knees, you continue. Beginners, that's good. Intermediates, let's keep going. I'm bringing a little rotation into my movement there as well. Good. Advance, let's get two more. Good. Switch it around, opposite side. Apologies, I move my mat. I won't leave my arms facing towards you. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, dead bugs, that'll finish off our first round of three. We're ready to go in three, two, one, and we're off. Two, one, beginners, you're done. Intermediates, you're done. Okay, advanced, we're done. Dead bugs. All right, we're going strong, guys. This will finish off that first round. Then we'll only have two more rounds to go. Ready to go in three, two, one, neutral. Left leg, right arm, pull it back. Lower spine on the ground. Good beginners, you're done. Advance, let's go for one more either side. Beginners. Last one, or advance rather, last round, and relax. Good. Okay, so that's the first round down. We've got two more rounds to go. This is good going. So we're back to our push-ups, and we're going in six seconds. Well done, folks. Keep it going. Two, one, and we're off. <sighs> Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Beginners, you're done. Intermediates, you're done. Advanced, let's look for two more. Good, great stuff. Okay, plank taps coming in 15 seconds. Just keep it going now, guys. All right, we'll be through this 10 minutes. Focus on one at a time and knock them out. Okay, ready to go in three, two, one, and we're up. Good. Nice controlled breath. 
Intermediates, you're done. Advanced, we're still going. And relax. Sideline now with rotation. All right, we're going in 10 seconds. Try to see it through now, guys, if you can. Three, two, one, and we're up. Good. All right, well done. Beginners, you have three left. Okay, intermediates, let's go for five. One, two, three, four, five. Advance, let's go for three more. One, two, three. And there we go. And we're going opposite side. All right. Okay. Three, two, one, and we're up. Beginners, let's look for two more. One, two. Advance, let's look for three more. One, two, three. That's great work, dead bugs. Well done. All right, so we get these dead bugs in, folks. Uh, we're down to our final round. <clears throat> we're going strong, we're going good. Three, two, one, and we're off. Good, three, two, one. Advance, we're the only ones left going, well done. Two, one. Okay, two rounds down guys. One more to go, one more round. Uh, it's gonna be push-ups next. Okay, we got six seconds. Advance, I'm gonna challenge you now. Let's look to get 15 to 20 in here. Beginners, let's try three or four. Two, one, we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beginners, you're done. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, advance, two more. 16, 17. That's great stuff, you can ask me count there. Well done, okay. We have plank taps coming up in 10 seconds. It's a good workout guys, it's a good session. Okay, we're ready to go in three, two, one, down we go. Okay. Beginners, you're done. Intermediates, three more either side. Two, two, three, three. Advance, let's look for four more either side. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. How oh, well done. Great work. Okay. Sideline planks. All right, guys. We're ready to go in three, two, one, and we're off. Well done. Gyms are closed, living room still open. Good. Beginners, two more. 
Okay, intermediates. Let's look for three more. One, two, even two more. Three, four, five. Advance. Let's go for three more. Come on. One, two, three. One quick one. Ah, good stuff. All right. Good work. Okay. Sideline, plank, opposite side. Get this out of the way. Then we got our dead bugs. Then we're good. Okay. Three, two, one. And we're up. Good. Thread the needle. Bring plenty of control back now. Let's finish strong. Beginners, that's you done. Intermediates, let's look for six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Advance, two more. One, two, and relax. All right, dead bugs. Dead bugs, final side. We're ready to go in 10. All right, guys. Three, two. One, and we're off. Well done, let's keep it going. Good stuff. My mom is gonna be doing this program later. So keep it going, man, last few seconds. Three, two, one, and we're done. Okay, guys, I know I'm sweating anyway. Ah, well done, massive stuff. Um, just gonna stop the timer. Okay, well done, guys, brilliant stuff, okay? If you managed to stay going throughout that, well done. If you weren't able to do all the all the seconds for each rep um, at least you know where you are okay if you're only able to do three or four seconds of each that's perfect if you were able to manage to get into 30 seconds if you were working the advance every time and you felt it was comfortable throughout um, that's brilliant um, see if you can pick up a kettlebell see if you can pick up a mini band which I know is difficult now at this stage but try add those to your routine from here obviously this is the first one it's going to become a little bit more challenging um, and it'll become very much more challenging if you don't stick with them. All right, so find consistency. So let's get a stretch in. Let's uh, start with the quads. So swinging up one leg, grabbing your where your laces would be and we get a stretch through the quad. If you need a little balance or a little support, you can work it also. Right, and three deep breaths. One, two, and three. Opposite leg. One, two, three. Let's look for two more deep breaths. One more. All right, and kicking out both legs. All right, we're gonna stretch through our hamstrings. I know a lot of people find this stretch difficult, so it's a good opportunity now for me to talk through it a little bit more. The heel of my front foot is in line with the toe of my back foot. So you should be able to see that. From there, I'm gonna soften both knees. So I drop down just a touch. From there, shoulders back, chin up. And I hinge from this point down. If you've got a little bit more flexibility, you can travel a little further. Good, and three deep breaths. And switch it over. Three deep breaths. Two 
So you're looking for a pull in the hamstring and the top of the back of that front leg. Two more. And slowly coming up. From there, right arm across the body. Hug it in nice and tight. Three deep breaths. One. Two. And three. And opposite side. Three deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Okay, from there, we're going to get a stretch in on the calves. You can work this one off a wall, one foot in nice and close, other further back. I'll be doing a more extensive video on some stretching as well, but uh, make sure you get a nice stretch in after each workout. One, two, three, four, opposite side. One, two, three, and four. And kicking out both legs. All right, guys, give yourselves a clap. Well done. Uh, that's home workout one done. Uh, you get another video up for your homework out two for later on in the week. Thanks very much for joining us.